Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make the little dress for the bunny. Okay, so if you made your bunny in, if you made your bunny using the 3mm hook, you want to make the dress with a 3.5mm hook. Um, if you made your bunny with a 3.5mm hook, you want to use a 4mm hook. Okay, um, you'll need some cotton yarn in any colour you want your dress. You just have one or two colors uh, a yarn needle and some scissors all right so i'll leave a link in the description for the bunny part one and two and how to make the little tutu and the bow okay to start you want to take them whichever main color you want for your dress make a slip knot And chain 22 Okay, once you've chained 22, you want to skip the last one that you did, that's your turning chain, and you want to single crochet in one in each chain back down, so you should have 21 single crochets. So just one one single crochet in each chain. Right, once you've done that, you want to chain one and turn, and then we want to do four single crochets. So there's your chain. You want to do one in the last single crochet that you made. Okay, so there's your four single crochets, chain four, and then you want to skip four stitches and go into the fifth one and single crochet. So we need five single crochets, that's one. Just one in each stitch. Okay, so you got four single crochets, chain four, five single crochets, chain four, skip four. Four single crochets.
All right, so you just if you just want to make sure it fits. In the next row, we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to do three single crochets. And then we're going to do an increase. Then we're going to do four single crochets so in this chain And then we're going to put an increase in the next stitch. Single crochet three. And then an increase in the next stitch. Single crochet four along the chain. Then an increase. And single crochet three. For the next row, we're going to chain two. And turn and then we're going to do one double crochet in the first stitch and two double crochets in the second stitch okay so the pattern all the way along is one double crochet two double crochets in the next stitch
for the next row we're going to do chain two turn your work we're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch okay and then we're going to do a front post double crochet in the second stitch so instead of going in the top of the stitch we're going to go behind it okay yarn over pull it through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so it's going to be two double crochets and a front post double crochet so not in that one but in the next one Two double crochets in the next stitch. Skip that one because that's for the two double crochets. Front post double crochet in the next one. Two double crochets and a front post double crochet If you're finding the front post double crochet too difficult, you can still do the exact same pattern, but just do two double crochets and then one double crochet there instead of a front post. You just won't get the little ripple.
Okay, so once you've finished that row, we're going to slip stitch it to the first double crochet that we did. Okay, so that should be big enough to slip over the bunny head. Uh, chain two. And then we're going to do two double crochets in the same one we slip stitched into. One double crochet, one front post double crochet. So two double crochets in the first one. one double crochet in the next one and one front post double crochet so the front post should be in the same one from the last row and okay, so two double crochets in the next stitch one double crochet in the next one and one front post double crochet in the third one and that's a pattern until you get back to the chain two there okay so once you've finished that row you want to slip stitch to the first double crochet that you made and chain two and then you want to make a decrease so yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops okay then yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through three Okay, so we've got one decrease and then we're just going to do one double crochet in each stitch until the end. And then when we get back to the end, we're going to do a decrease there as well. All right, now that I'm at the end of this row, I'm going to decrease these two. So yarn over. Go into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last three row, um, three loops. Okay, so I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that decrease. chain two and I'm going to repeat that row two more times so slip stitch chain two and I'm going to do a decrease double crochet around a decrease at the end okay Okay, so this is how it looks after you've done those three rows. Okay, so it's a little bit big, but that's all right. Um, in the next row, you can either just do one more row of double crochets around, or you can leave it like this, or I'm going to um, change colors and I'm going to put a border on the end. Okay. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the last double crochet, but I'm going to change colors and pull that through both loops. And then knot the two colors together.
Okay, so I'm going to chain one. One single crochet in the same stitch that we slip stitched into. And then I'm going to skip two. One, two. And I'm going to put five double crochets in this next one. Skip two and I'm going to single crochet into the third one. I'm going to skip two and five double crochets in the third stitch. Skip two and single crochet in the third stitch. Okay, so that's the pattern all the way along. Skip two, five double crochets, skip two, one single crochet. Okay. Okay, and the last one here, I'm just going to slip stitch to the single crochet that we started with. Okay, so I'm just going to chain one and cut my yarn. And then I just need to hide these two pink tails. And with the end grey tail, I weaved it all the way up to the top. So I've got my starting tail and my end tail, and I've made a knot there. And then I could just use the two ends to tie a little bow. Okay, I'll cut that one a bit shorter. Alright, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.